Head, shoulder, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, and eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulder, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Oh, yo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Business Connect. Today, we will be talking about anatomy. But what is anatomy? Anatomy. Oh, yeah. Anatomy is the study of the human body, the different parts, and how they function. But anatomy on Business Connect, what does anatomy have to do with business? Oh, yeah. We will not be studying the human anatomy in the science sense or in a uh, biological sense, we will be studying the anatomy of an entrepreneur. It sounds weird, right? The anatomy of an entrepreneur. Yeah, we have the hand, we have the eyes, we have the mouth, the hands, the legs, the stomach, the heart. But how does this different parts function as an entrepreneur? How do we use the different parts of our body as an entrepreneur? That's what we'll be studying today. That's what we'll be talking about today here on Business Connect. So if you don't want to miss this, don't go away. This is Business Connect. My name is Roy. And on this channel, we do videos on entrepreneurship, business development, social motivation. So if you want to learn more about this, go right down there. Hit that subscription button so that each time we upload videos like this, you will be the first to be notified. And if you've already subscribed to Business Connect, if you are a regular subscriber, we want to say thank you. And don't go away. I'll be right back. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, today we will be talking about the anatomy of an entrepreneur. So should we start from the head to the toes or should we should start from the toes to the head? Where should we start from? Okay, I think we should start from the feet because we are growing. So we should start from the feet right up till the head. So let's start with the feet. We should always dream high, but our feet should always be grounded and firm to the ground. So like an entrepreneur, we should always stand our feet and we should always be firm. Once we take a decision, we should always be firm to this decision and we should not easily be shaken. Okay, so we are done with the feet. Now let's go to the legs. What should the legs represent in the anatomy of an entrepreneur? We should keep our legs moving even in tough times. There is a saying that when times get tough, only the tough get going. So as an entrepreneur, we don't want to stay on the same spot. We want to keep moving even in hard times. Keep moving. Don't stay on the same spot because once you stay on the same spot, you're losing a lot of opportunities that are just around you. Don't stay on your comfort zone. Keep moving. Okay, good. We are gradually moving up from the feet to the leg. Now let's go to the stomach. What kind of your stomach play as an entrepreneur? Your stomach has different parts to play as an entrepreneur. You want to keep it healthy. You want to eat good food. You want to be healthy as an entrepreneur. Because whatever comes in and stays in your stomach is responsible for how you will react, how you will stay healthy or not healthy in the days ahead. So also, you want to trust your God. You also want to use your stomach to be able to, 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 to analyze the decisions that you take. How do you react to feedback, how do you react to failure? There is one thing you have to note as an entrepreneur. You will not always make the right decision. There are so many decisions that you will make and they will fail. So you always have to understand that not all your decisions will turn into success. So you have to be keen in the way you react to failure and the way you react to negative feedback. All this comes from your gut, from within your stomach. So keep your stomach healthy and trust your gut. Your hands, your hands. As an entrepreneur, you will be dealing with a lot of clients. You will be dealing with partners and you will be having a lot of people to deal with. So your hands should be open and transparent. You shouldn't be the one that people shouldn't trust because if they don't trust you, they will not do business with you. They won't deal with you. So as an entrepreneur, you want to be as open as possible and as transparent as possible so that people can trust you and do business with you. Okay, now we are going to the most sensitive parts. We are, we are done with the, the lower part of the, the body. Now we are going to the, the, the upper part of the body. And I think these are the most sensitive parts of the, entrepreneurial, uh, of the entrepreneur's anatomy. Let's go now to the heart. What does the heart represent in the, in the uh, uh, human anatomy? or in the entrepreneurial anatomy, what does the heart represent? That is where the passion lies. That is, it's almost like the powerhouse of everything, the heart. 
That is where the passion comes in. So whatever thing you're doing as an entrepreneur, you must do it with a lot of passion. You must do it as if you have just one last chance. So your heart should be full of the passion for whatever thing you're doing. Okay, so good. So we are done with the downer part of the body. We are done with the middle section of the body. Now let's go to the upper part of the body. I think here is where the game lies. From here up as an entrepreneur, this is where the game lies. Let's start with the mouth. How should you use your mouth as an entrepreneur? This is the most important aspect of your entrepreneurial journey. Use your mouth to communicate your vision. Because if you don't tell people what you stand for, if you don't tell people what you represent, even your customers will doubt you. They will not know really your value. So you should use your mouth as an entrepreneur to communicate to the people, to communicate to, to your customers, to communicate to the rest of the world your vision. Your mouth is also one of the most important parts of the entrepreneurial anatomy. The ears, very important. Feedback, always use your ears wisely as an entrepreneur. Listen carefully. Listen to the feedback of your customers. Listen to what the news says. Listen to what the social media has. Listen to what the world is talking about. Because you, you, you use this information. Once you get the information from your ear, there is the way you process it in your mind. We'll be talking about the brain and the eyes and in, 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 the, in a few minutes. So you listen and then you process the feedback. So your ears are very important as an entrepreneur. So your ears represent what? Listening to feedback, getting feedback from the outside world. Now, let's go to the eyes. Your eyes should be your radar. Your eyes should always be wide open looking for opportunities looking for what's happening looking for things that will either make or mar you looking for things that you can either bring into your business or take out of your business your eyes are very important as an entrepreneur so if you don't want to fail as an entrepreneur make good use of this toolbox that i have right here make good use of your eyes as an entrepreneur Okay, let's look at the next part. Let's look at the nose. How should you use your nose as an entrepreneur? You should be able to smell success. Once success is approaching, you should be able to scent it and know, oh yeah, I'm almost getting there. So your nose is also very important as an entrepreneur. You should use your nose to perceive the success. Once you're arriving there, you should be able to tell yourself, oh yeah, I made it. Smell the success. Your nose also is very important as an entrepreneur. And the last but not the least, the most important, according to me, the brain, the brain. That is where the pool of idea is. That is where everything is processed. So your brain is like every information that comes from your legs to your feet, from your stomach to your hands to wherever it comes to the brain. And that is where the information is processed. So as an entrepreneur, you want to use your brain to process this information. You want to learn more skills. You want to learn more ideas. You want to get more information and process them to use them in your business. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the little I have for you as far as the anatomy of an entrepreneur is concerned. If you like this video and you want to get more videos like this, give us a thumbs up. Drop us down a, a comment in the comment section below. Let us know if we miss out a part or something about the, the entrepreneurial anatomy that is very important. Drop us a, a comment down. And if you've not yet subscribed to Business Connect, you don't want to miss interesting videos like this in the days ahead, go down there, hit that subscription button and select all so that each time we drop videos like this, YouTube will notify you and you will be the first to watch our videos. Until now, I'll see you in our next video. Peace out.